How's it going? It's Farmer Nick here. Welcome back to the farming tournament episode number five on Honeydew Farm. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna hop in the Dodge Ram pickup truck and we got BJ in the back. We're up here by like field 19. So what we're gonna be doing today is basically getting the farmyard all cleaned up, back in tip top shape, um, ready so when everything gets sped up time and everything, when everything's ready to harvest, the farmyard is nice and clean, we know where everything is. Might get horses here next video, probably get the horses and stuff set up and we'll get horses going. Can't get cows going quite yet just because we don't have a full pit of silage, but we could turn around and go buy a few dozen of silage bales, but I don't think it's worth it. So we'll just save our money. We got $483,000 right now so we're doing pretty good for money wise gotta stop or else cops will give us the devil that's kinda cool how it shows the light there just a normal PJ on the back let's run up right on the farm we're gonna go through master farm no we're not we'll just cut back through here I guess so we got a lot of new equipment and we're doing lots of different stuff since I've talked to you guys last in here um, we're gonna be posting daily on the tournament now um, I don't have time between Switching back between both of the maps now. So we're going to be solid in this map until the end of February or so. So I hope you guys are okay with that. It's just because it's going to be too much on me when I'm going to school and come home and I got to do homework chores and everything. It's like, it isn't going to work out too good. So I want to just do one map right now, just for the time of it. And then when we get more time, um, we'll get more time. When I get more time to make more videos and stuff, then I'll... Maybe consider of working on that stuff. So we got the blue one. Oh, we got new semi and stuff. We're filling up some lime. We got spread lime somewhere. I'm gonna show you guys that spot. She's gonna probably hire a worker. Brakes, maybe. Standard old truck over here. Run her up. Holy smoke! Someone's got. I think there's a truck on the roof. That's why it's lagging. There we go. So what we're gonna do, we've put fence up and trees in this yard to make it kind of look a lot more like a farmyard instead of how it was. So we're gonna pull way out here in the field and come back in beside that low boy, hopefully. Hopefully. that guy. Now let's run up and find a fresh washer and wash this truck off. And we're going to hook it on the livestock trailer they got up here, it looks like it. Where is the pressure washer? Right here. Alright, let's wash this blue truck up, make her blue again, not a brownish kind of a mud truck, you know? It's kind of cool with muddy, but I like the blue truck, it looks better. Look at that nice blue coming off there. There you go. Where's this trailer? Right there. We're gonna go pick up four horses, not today, another day. You guys are wondering why that plowing spot is there? Um, there was spots where the grass wasn't actually grass so we could uh, mow up and everything, so I took the plow through it and I uh, plowed it up that way we can actually do it, you know? We can actually be able to farm it. it turned a little too sharp there, it looks like it. I think I'll turn this on. Alrighty. So let's park this trailer and truck right over here because we're going to need it tomorrow. To go get a load of cattle, keep her in the shade, make her cool. You know? Keep it nice and cool. Alright, I guess we might as well start with this 8400R. Let's hop in it this way. There we go. Alright, so... We'll probably leave the triples on this tractor just for the time. Not hurting anything. Tractor and... Chipper there, we're gonna back right in them. Move it out of the way, you know? Alright, let's get this uh, pressure washer up and let's wash the equipment up. So Ryler's pretty good at just parking stuff wherever because he doesn't know where it kind of goes, but it's kind of obvious equipment in one shed, harvesting equipment in the other, but you know Ryler, he's a little different. So let's just wash everything up. 
Um, the weights, the paint isn't weared off this tractor as much as the 8370R. The 8370R has done more work than this 8400R. The 8400R is mostly on the DB90, and it also does run... It did used to run the John Deere 2730 disc ripper, but we changed it over for this Joker. Uh, the Joker is a lot better. It's wider, pulls faster, doesn't require as much horsepower as the Joker did, or the John Deere 2730. So let's unhook this guy right here. We'll get the loader, we'll move it around later. later. So there is no tractor in here, so I guess we might as well start with the big tractor and go to little. So you hear the duels? What the heck? We just washed this tractor up. Really? Come on. Nah, that's good. I don't think we can reach that. Um, we're gonna keep this stump around here just for the sake of it right now, because Ryler uh, decided it was a good idea to go a little heavy on trees, so we've took out. Probably had to clear about 10 trees or more on here, because Ryler doesn't know where to place them, you know. So let's make sure that we only lease that pressure wash for the time being. So let's wash this bad boy up. Nice bucket here. Oh, this bucket has been doing some work actually. Paint's wearing off it. And the tractor slowly wants to slide over too. A little weird, but must be just a little glitch here lag. The server does have the odd little problem. You can't just expect it to be boom, 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 right? So, it's whatever. It is what it is. As long as the tractor's really clean, I really don't care too much. Um, yeah. So I'm basically running two farms. I'm on two different farms right now. I'm on Squad's team and Morse's team right now. So I'm on two different teams. I'll be keeping busy. Really busy. Uh, let's drop that right there. Alrighty. Let's look on this newer spreader here. Get this bad boy out of here. I don't know why it's in here. Don't know why they put it in there, but it's not a spot for it because it's too long. So let's take it in here and we'll back it in beside the what is that loading wagon in there? It looks like it. Yeah. I can't wait to use this newer spreader out. Uh, we might get some pigs on the farm yet, too. Hopefully. I don't know if she's gonna go in there. Must well stick it over in this back corner out of the way, because we're not gonna use it for quite a while, right? So might as well bury this stuff out of the way. Might as well put the stuff that we're gonna use constantly in front, and then we'll worry about the stuff that we're gonna need later on. Fucking drives me nuts. Oh, we gotta turn her wheel a little. There we go. Now the tractor doesn't want to go ahead. Bet they got the stopping braking goofy thing on. I turned that back on yesterday because they literally have it on, so you have to come to a complete stop, and then you can back up. It's really weird. I don't know who keeps doing that, but please stop it. It's really annoying. So, uh, our fuel tank trailer. Oh, where are we going to stick this thing? Back it up right there for right now, out of the way. What else is in here nice and long? The balers and stuff, they could probably stay in here. Yeah, why not? So let's get her plow and we'll stick it over in that back corner out of the way. And then we gotta run up and grab the green carrot. Yeah, it's gotta come home and another combine's gotta come home up by uh, field 18. It's quite a ways up there at the farm. The Joker should be a little bit heavy, but should be able to back her in there. Got to see real gotta see where all the long stuff is because I know there is a fair bit of long dungs in here so let's put the little shorter stuff kind of over in this corner out of the way that rake might as get probably backed in front of this thing over here just because the rake is so long when I want to pull something out it'd be easier to just do it like that let's get this thing closest to the wall as we can because I want to stick another planter in here and possibly the grain cart hopefully we did have the 2730 in here too but we really don't need it I think we honestly might have two of them, I'm not sure. So let's pull out, um, what else is out here? I don't really see anything else here that needs the tractor's attention. 
Well, there's the head in the combine there. It needs to be cleaned up. So, what we're going to do is run over here and jump in the combine. S790 here. Drop that thing right there. Take this guy over to the fresh washer, wash him up, and back him in the shed. Put him away. Because there is no more harvesting missions, because we've got them all done. There's a few fertilizing jobs. We are not going to tackle them today. Um, we'll probably get them done here later. But that's how we've been basically making money. It's just doing missions over and over and over. And selling lots, making lots of hay bales, and selling them too. That's about all we how we made our profit back up here. I'll we'll have to look here in a minute and see what place we're sitting in. After this uh, gets up. Uh, cleaned up here. Alright, let's have a look. So, huh, they're down a few dollars there. So we're in second place right now. Yeah. Cool. We're about second place right now. Or no, we're in third. No, we're in second. Yeah, we're in second place. So that's good. We're in second. Then it goes Team Minis, and then it goes Masters, and then, er, yeah. Squad's in first, then us, then it goes Spence, then it goes Minis Team, then Spencer TVs, and then Masters. So, pretty cool. Second place, didn't think we'd ever get this high, but just come back up. Just keep selling all your stuff and selling profit, making lots of soybeans in the ground. That's how you're going to make it. Squad's got a lot of money, right? Because he just started out shortly, and I think they gave him a little bit of cash, extra cash flow, just because he got the bait kind of field over there, and I think it fared him so he could buy lots of more stuff, too. So I don't know. I think everyone got about, like, $15 million to start off. I'm not sure how much everyone got off. I'll have to ask more. He'll know a better answer on that one. That's kind of cool how the paint just wears off the step there, too. Park him right there. I was like, damn, I could just jump in that. No. Alright, let's find 6M like that. Got stuck in the wall. No biggie. Let's run back over here with this corn head. We got a 16 row sitting on the combine up there yet. We gotta get hauled back, so that's nothing. It's foldable. But we're gonna stop and pick up a header trailer probably at the shop. Just for the sake of it so we can store it instead of leave it in the shed on the head. Because that wouldn't be probably a good idea. Because we're going to need that combine on something else too. And looks like we better get that wheat going. Maybe we might have to hire that worker and get that wheat in the ground. Because we also ripped up that one hayfield and put wheat in it. Just for the time being because we were uh, tired of spots of grass and everything all over the place. And the field wasn't getting cleaned all the time up. So let's hop in this 8245R. Start him up and hire a worker. Turn him on. Let's roll. Now go. Maybe we're not going to hire a worker. Maybe we're just going to plant a little here for now. Nah, we don't want to plant. I want to clean stuff up. This truck needs a bath. We're not touching my truck right now. 6 a.m. Maybe. There we go. Let's go see how much room is over in the kind of indoor shed, how we just pull stuff through. That's what we're keeping this shed as over here. We're going to run through this wheat seed. It's not going to hurt too much. Obviously, this wheat is going to be late growing just for the sake of it. Uh, the wheat will probably get to last thing before we get to harvest just because it got planted late wheat. So whatever the beans were, the beans and stuff went in way way ahead of time before I even thought about this idea I thought about this like literally just the other night the more I was like okay might as well so that's what we did um we're gonna run out of space in here we can do this I guess we'll get her if we move that semi over there perfect all right let's just back this guy up and we'll stick this loader here just because it's gonna be easier to move in stuff stuff in with that guy. Is there any header trailers stuck up here anywhere? I don't think so. Oh, we got a little bit of sunflowers. Must put them in the bin when we get home. Alright, let's roll. We'll go down this way. It's a little better. So we're only going to be able to go about 
32 mile an hour down the road, the combine's probably only gonna go like six. I'd probably say in around 20. Uh, this tractor needs to be repaired really bad. So let's open the map up so you guys can see where we are. So we're up, we did a mission on 15 and, or we did 22 originally first in the live stream you guys seen. Then we moved over and did 17. It was sunflowers. And then we've been doing the fertilizer mission since. Spencer TV's sitting AFK on his farm, it looks like right now. Otherwise, that's about all's going on right now. So team one doesn't have any kind of land or anything, equipment, so. So whatever. Or do they? Yeah, they do. The team's over there, I keep forgetting it. I keep almost thinking it's way up over by 15, but no, it's not. It's down over by Field of Age 12. Squads is basically on 9. Spencer's is basically on 8. Uh, Masters is in between 2 and 3. And ours is down on the edge of Field 4. So let's take the road, actually. Take the stop sign out. But yeah, that's basically how the farm yard's set up. I, think, I don't think there's too many other people who are going to be joining the tournament so far. I think we're basically kind of full, unless there might be a room for another farm in here. Maybe one more, but I think that's... Then it's really going to get cramped. I feel like it's kind of nice for just this bunch of people in here, and then we could buy different land, you know? Because eventually, we'll probably, like, people will sell big fields, and that's the nice thing I like, how you can say you don't like your farm here, here when you start off the game, you can sell it and go way over somewhere else. So that's a nice feature right there. So we got the big Elmer's green card in the back. I think this is a 20, yep, 2,000 bushel green card here. And I don't think John Deere 8370R. So, not much to it. Better stop for this one. This is more of a main road. Alright, there we go. I kind of liked how this tractor is all set up. This tractor is custom modding one. roll it. There's a whole bunch of speed limits and stuff, but I'm not too worried about speed limits because most of the time when I'm hauling stuff on, it's first thing in the morning and there's no cops on. That's a nice thing. Plus it's Sunday, so it's probably going to be pretty quiet all day on here. So I just do my old thing, you know. Don't have to worry about too many people in here uh, messing around, but there'll be probably people in here by tonight. Working, everyone's got school and, you know, everyone goes to church and why not. We'll be there very shortly. I'm probably going to do like a farm tour video like in here. Go around and show everyone's different farmyard off. That'll be probably like next video we'll see. Or I might I might wait until like at least everyone's on their farm. And what I got thinking is going around and I'll drive up to their farm and they're going to give me a little rundown on what they're got all growing and how they're liking the tournament and so far. I'm thinking about doing something like that. So I'm going to wait for everyone to get on once, and then I'll do something like that. Um, hopefully more, someone can get on our farm, and I'll do our farm as well. And, yeah, I'll go from there. So there's no stop sign here, but there's a stop just the other way. So we just keep rolling through here. I think this tractor's just a little kind of small for this guy, but, hey, should be all good. Again. Kind of on the edge of the line there. Uh, I think we'll cut up. Well, I guess we really should cut up through the fields because there isn't really a laneway up there right now. So we'll go around the the actual way to the farm and we'll show you guys where the wheat's all going better. You guys probably know, but hey, we'll show you better. Is this just a laneway? No man's land, looks like it. I feel like the police should totally buy that, the outside of the map. That way everyone, then we can put laneways and stuff. They can come put laneways. Looks like we're uh, growing a crop through the uh, road here. Better bring the cultivator out, cultivate that off. They might not like that one. <laughs> but it'll probably just get crop structure on and i will get rid of it pretty quick. Let's run up here, take her grain card and put her away. Dump these sunflowers out and put her in the bin. It's going to be a lots of hauling today. I 
didn't know that, how that... That's kind of cool how they made a light up right there. I never noticed that. Wow, Custom Audience did a good job in JHHG. Did a good uh, job on this tractor. I never noticed that until right now. How it's got the lights and everything all light up. It's kind of cool. Just about pulling into our farmyard here. We're going to run to the bins first and get the sunflowers out of here. We got about 5,300 bushels, 53 liters of stuff in here. 5,300. So let's go around here. There's our new semi. Whip this pipe out. Turn her up there just a little. Oh, let's do it. Probably could have stopped it somewhere and unloaded them on the way, but hey, she's all good. We'll leave that pipe out there. Uh, let's see if we can get under here. Oh. We got a little nice ramp over here. We'll see how this thing works. Ryler has been working on this. Works pretty good, Ryler. We don't have to drive over the fence all the time. I think that's pretty good. Turned out decent. See here, the paint's just about wore right off on this one. I don't know why it's showing like the weights have been on and off this tractor. I don't think the weights have been ever off it, but it's whatever. Let's see how much paint is chipped off here. Quite a bit, looks like it. Gotta get those numbers nice and clean, you know. Gotta armor all it, wax it. Grain carts is a mess. I would not want to wash this thing. These things are not fun to wash. Especially our JM 750 grain cart. Holy smokes, it's really not too uh, fun to wash, and I'll say that much. This guy all cleaned up here. Clean the PTO off. Let's clean all the hydraulic hoses off. Make them nice and clean, you know. There we go. Tarp that bad boy and put her in this shit. Got lots of room here. Just about hit the tree. That would have been nice or free. Alright, let's try not uh, hitting anything on the way in. There's the back of the shed. Turn all this stuff off. Go wash this tractor up again. Clean those rims up again. I don't like the dirt animation on this tractor, how it gets dirty so quick. Kinda sucks. sit here with the pressure washer for a few minutes and just let it clean off, make them nice and black, Firestone tires here. A little collision in there between them. Shut that guy off. So we'll put the 8245R here. Then the 4850 here, and then the 6M. Alrighty, what else we got going on? Anything? Combine? Just combine to haul back. Um, let's do a little bit of plant here for now, I guess. Do something different, switch it up a little. That's a little weird how everything just kind of went quiet. So I'm not sure how fast we're going to be able to run. Stick our marker out and let's get planting here. It's kind of cool how you can hear all the little animations of the sea going in the ground. That's pretty cool right there. I like that. Nice feature right there. So the nice thing about this planter is it's not going to be uh, no-till or anything. So this planter, we actually can't be running over the sea because there's a few strips down there that never got seed, it looks like. 
so that's going to be perfect right there for us. Really, if you're going to be pulling this big planter, you should have some front duels in the back, but in the front of this tractor, just for some more, spread the compaction out of the, so the front tires aren't always pulling. You know, so we got more traction to pull this planter better, and we probably could be pulling it probably about an eye mile an hour here in farm sim, you know. But you really don't want to be playing too fast. So what do you guys run for a planter? John Deere, 16, 24? A lot of you guys probably run like 12, 16 rows. So many of you guys like run 24 or bigger? Like what is a common kind of planter size do you guys run around your area? Let me know what you guys run for planters. We run a 17, 75 John Deere 16 row farm planter. That's what we got for a planter. As you guys seen the watch the farm tour, don't forget to go and check out that farm tour video if you guys are curious what we run for equipment. If you haven't checked it out already, I really encourage you guys to go and check it out. And don't forget to go and share it with your family and friends because it is awesome. Alright, let's put this marker in here. Almost put the marker out there. So this is always a little glitch here I hate. gonna give us a ticket because they tried giving us a ticket one night of uh, us uh, having hay on the ground on the road you know how the tether is right the tether just spits it out wherever so I guess next time we better not uh, have the tether spitting our way out we better stay in a couple feet with mowing we better not mow right to the road so they don't get so salty let's run up here and grab this row that we missed all the way up it looks like it no, it's only right there good Turn around, go back down that, and we'll come up the other side, get that corner over there done, and then we'll just work our way over there. I guess it kind of is all the way up. Let's see how far it goes up. I think it's maybe all the way. Looks like someone's running the ridge marker out here. Because that's what it kind of looks like. So I guess we're going to back up our wheat. There it goes in. There we go. Now let's run down here and get this all cleaned up. Uh, we also ripped up the bin area down here too, how it was, and we leveled it out a bit too. So it's a lot better there. We don't shouldn't have too many problems. So that'd be a nice little spot there. But yeah, I'm starting to like our uh, tournament farm here. This tournament's going fun. Uh, yeah, just go and check out Spencer TV Squad. Uh, more farm will have footage, Master Farmer. Ryler has footage. I'm not sure who else has a YouTube channel going on here. But yeah, go and check out everyone else on the tournament here. And you guys can see more videos of on people doing different farms. Squad and uh, I might do a couple live streams on my channel on the tournament. But mostly they'll be on Squad Farms. So yeah. So guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, smash that like button. Subscribe. And I really appreciate it, guys. tractor want to stay in the tractor probably a good idea this tractor has eight and a half hours on it so we'll just get this finished up and go from there You guys can probably find the bin area. I think the bin area is right around in here. You guys can see there's a little bit of a hump. Yeah, here's the bin area right here. It was a little hump and I kind of leveled it out the best we could. That way there wasn't so many kind of goofy dips and spots where the planter is going to go over and the combine head's going to especially down the road there. Yeah, right here was the bin area. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, and subscribe, turn on post notifications. And don't forget to go and check out that farm tour video. And don't forget to also go and check out all the other videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.